Hello everyone, it's Tugger Tom. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to show you how to connect Excel into Power BI using Tugger's new Excel connector. So once you're logged into your Tugger account, if you head over to connectors, add connector, find the Excel connector. From there, you can name it whatever you want. Of course, I've gone with the classic, gone with the Tugger Tom. Uh, you can also see a step-by-step -step guide as well there, so you can see exactly how you need to do it. Um, but also, remember, you can always book a Teams meeting with one of the one of the technical team here at Tugger. Uh, so from there, once you've got your name, all you need to do is select the Excel file or drag it and drop. For this video, I've used the average exchange rates uh, just from around the world, just for something uh, to use as an example. Of course, click on Power BI, uh, and here it's gonna show you exactly how you're gonna have to set up that Excel report. So as you can see on screen, you've got some visual instructions. Uh, all you need to do is copy that web URL, head over to Power BI Desktop, and make sure when you're pulling in this data that you click Get Data at the top, and then click on the web, and that's when it'll come up with your URL that you need to enter from your Tugger account. Paste it in there into basic, and once you get this pop-up, head back over to your Tugger account, and there it's gonna show you exactly what you need to include. So it's just your basic credentials. Um, if you make sure you head over to basic, and then authentication details can be seen there. Make sure you're always choosing that longer URL. Uh, from there, go back to your Tugger account, copy that username, copy the password. You've heard me say it before, that's it, and then press connect. Just while that's loading, it's worth mentioning that we've actually built this connector to be able to pull in data from other sources that, that we don't connect to. So if we use accountants, for an example, uh, if they're using Xero, then they can connect through our platform with Xero and get our pre-built dashboards. But if they're using some other tool uh, for one of their clients, so whether it may be like a cash flow uh, or a forecasting thing that they've got in Excel, then all that you can do is literally import this data into here and you can then report on them both. It will then come up with all the data that you've got from Excel uh, and you can choose what to load within there. Okay, that's it, it's all loaded in. Now it's time to build yourself some visuals uh, and you can really do whatever you, you would like with this. Now I'm no Power BI expert, but um, I had a little play around just to see what I could make of it and what the data that I pulled in. Remember this is the exchange rates. So I had a, a mess around with a few data measures on the right there. I think I did an all right job, to be honest, considering I've never done it before. And I've got a nice little heat map there from my first time. I'll take it. I also wanted to show a little bit of the basic visualization. So you've got all the visualizations on the right where you can chop and change if you want it to be a pie chart, bar chart, whatever it is. You can see on the screen what I've done from there. I also thought I'd have a little play around with the themes just to see if I could change the colors of it. Uh, but this is exactly what you do if you did want to change the colors. And this applies to even our pre-built dashboards you can, you can have a mess around with. And that's all it is. So if you want to bring Excel data in to Power BI using Tugger, that is all you would have to do. Remember, if you need any help or you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to either myself or the team and I hope this video has helped you. Make sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Tugger Tom and I'll see you in the next one.